piece here I'm going to be attempting to repair. As you can see, mine broke off when this fender broke off, took this piece with it. I got here the piece that broke off. So it goes just like so. I'll have to bend the fender a little back into place. This is the other half of that piece. It fits just like this. So we're gonna attempt to fix this with aluminum brazing. So this is the stuff I'm gonna be repairing it with. It's aluminum welding rod, also called alumaloy, I believe. But the first thing what I wanna do is clean everything up. Clean this whole piece, as you can see, it's pretty dirty. Gonna take this cover plate off as you can see it's also bent so i'll we'll have to repair that this stuff was about it was five four forty nine for two at home depot i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and i'll take you guys through the process spaces so now I'm gonna try to bend this back up into shape as you can see so let's get working on that
this is how the piece looks. It's definitely not perfect, but this is as far as I'm gonna take it. Definitely much better though. Now, I'm gonna be on to this piece right here. This needs to go pretty much all the way back. guys so this is pretty good i think i'm gonna leave it right there definitely looks better this plate can go on here smoothly now once i bolt this together bend it some more just to give it a much flusher fitment here but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping all of these cracks so then i can start the um Aluminum abrasion. All right, guys, so we definitely can't get this aluminum piece. You can feel the heat from it, but it's not getting to the working temp of 700 to 750 degrees. So this is what happens. Just that. That's basically it, guys. So I'm going to pick it up in the morning, get something a little bit hotter than this. What's going on, guys? next day I'm running to Menards right now to get that oxygen I want to heat that aluminum piece up real real nice see if that's gonna work out so here's the kit this is what I was looking for at Menards just to see if they have the splitter here but they didn't so I had to get the kit uh, which is totally fine. They include some welding rods and whatnot and oxygen. And then you get this uh, starter. And they do have it labeled. This one is labeled oxygen. This one is reverse thread as well. All right, so we're pretty much all ready to go. I went ahead and put some acetone on this section right over here once again just to clean it up from last night let's see how hot we can get this
You want the rod to melt on the surface itself, not using the flame. Let's see if we can get it that hot. All right, so I got this aluminum welding rod. This is really hot. All right, guys. So this rod does melt with that, um, with the torch, but it still does the same thing as with this rod we tried yesterday where the only way it would puddle on there was if the torch is on the rod but with my research you're not supposed to have the torch directly on the rod and have the torch melt the rod you're supposed to have the metal hot enough so that you can braise it and then you can fill it in but in my situation i'm not sure what aluminum this is or whatnot so this soldering, they call it a soldering rod. It's working temperature is 700 degrees. Especially useful in soldering aluminum windows and doors, mill joints ideal for sealing holes in aluminum bolts, gutters and siding used to repair auto board, motor castings and zinc based die casting. So we're gonna try it out with this rod to see how that goes. All right guys, so you can see how hot that is. So we're gonna pour some water over it and see if this weld actually sticks. Yup, so that's what it keeps doing guys. I'm not sure what the problem is. If you know what I'm doing wrong, please let me know in the comments. I know it's definitely hot enough. I'm not sure all the videos I've seen, all the research I've done, they say you have to have the piece hot enough so that you can braise, kind of tin the aluminum on there, and then you'll be able to melt the aluminum. And I'm sure you guys seen the videos, but this is my attempt at it. The last thing that I think that might be the problem is this is some kind of just weird aluminum probably like two percent aluminum the rest is junk i don't know i'm not a professional welder but you professional welders out there let me know what i'm doing wrong how i can fix this in the future take this to the shop see how much they charge me for it they hope you learned a lot maybe what not to do what to do that's it thanks for watching the video i'll give you guys an update on what happened here because i still want to restore this little piece and yeah catch you guys in the next one